wanted to talk to you guys really quick about scale. Now there are a lot of different types of scale. I'm holding a Albo Monstera here. I will flip it around so you can actually see the scale. So you can see these little dots here. They're dead scale, thank goodness. Um, and they'll come right off because they're dead. And that's how you can tell they're dead. If they're literally, you hit them with your finger and they're juicy, um, or they have a little bit of, I don't know what else to say other than juicy, um, any moisture that comes out of them, then they're alive. They have a different color when they're alive, or these particular type of scale. There's a lot of different types of scale. Um, this is part of raising tropical plants. You probably at some point will get scale. It's not a big drama. Uh, you can see that only had a couple of uh, scale on it. If we look on the stem here, they love to hide in these little cracks. Actually, I don't see any in here. Uh, so this probably was just recently infected. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about scale at first. I'm just looking at the other leaves here. Um, so scale, uh, they basically suck the uh, juice out of your plants. Um, that's how they feed. They love to feed along veins. Um, scale in its nymph stage, uh, or when it's a baby, you could call it a baby, um, can travel. They do have legs. Uh, they are, what is it, about two or three weeks it takes for them to hatch out uh, so they can crawl around and uh, move around on a plant. But once they decide they like a certain spot, that's where they'll stay. So some of this is just leaf damage uh, here and there. So th that's really all the scale I found were those two little dead ones. So you don't want scale, obviously, and they'll multiply in numbers. And ants, especially in California here, we have little black ants that love to farm scale. They will move them all around um, because they secrete this type of uh, sugar uh, from them. And the ants love that sugar, so they'll farm them. And one of the ways you can also tell with that is, uh, see this here? I think the camera can focus. This is sooty mold. And that's a telltale sign that you have these sugars present from these bugs uh, because sooty mold will come in like that. So one of the things we do for sooty mold is I add a tiny bit of oregano uh, into my spray. Uh, you can also use thyme oil. It can be really strong though. Uh, but uh, I use both and we also let me let me just tell you what I do for uh, scale and we spray kind of on a regular basis uh, Just to make sure we don't have any problems So what we like to use is neem oil and neem oil has this great active ingredient in it uh, that kills scale now if you use straight up neem oil It'll take a tiny bit longer to kill scale. There is a product on the market um, gosh, I forget what it's called. And it's a concentrated a solution of the bio agent that is in neem. Um, you don't need to get that fancy. Neem oil will do the job. Now, neem oil is oil. Like, it is really thick. Um, let me show you my spray bottle here. You can see it floating on top. So, what you need is something to help break it up. Um, I believe the word is a surficant. A suffocant? Surficant. <laughs> Whatever it is, um, I like to use Castle Soap or Dr. Bronner's uh, because it doesn't have any perfumes, fragrances, or any other chemicals. I don't want any other chemicals in there to burn uh, my plant leaves. Uh, so it's important that you uh, use something that's pretty, you know, uh, if you can get organic, that's great. It's hard to find organic. This is about as good as it gets, Dr. Bronner's. Uh, the other thing you can use is Safer Soap. Uh, it's a brand that's been around for a long time. It's Omri listed, um, and it's an insect killing soap. So this does, spraying soap will kill mites. It'll kill a few other things. But the main reason I'm using this is to literally, like you can see the neem oil floating on top of my soapy water. And let me take this rag off of here. Once I shake it up like this, see how it's blended now? And that's what the soap does. Now, I don't have any particular fancy recipe. Generally, we use six teaspoons of uh, neem oil 
uh, and how much soap? About a teaspoon of soap. I mean, I've done this for so long, I do it really quick and on the fly. So for like a spray bottle like this, I may put uh, two tablespoons of neem oil and just a squirt of soap. Not a big squirt, um, just say a teaspoon of soap. You can overdo on the soap, so uh, just be cautious with the soap. Uh, if you do too much, it'll actually destroy leaf tissue. Um, I mean, generally it doesn't. You just, like I said, don't get carried away. If you get too carried away with your neem oil, uh, it will also, um, if your greenhouse is hot or you're shipping a plant, um, it will suffocate the leaves. Uh, I've seen things burn with too much neem oil. Again, this is all pretty safe stuff. So in a little bottle like this, two tablespoons of neem oil, a quarter teaspoon or a teaspoon of soap even should be absolutely fine. And oregano oil, this is a giant bottle because I have several greenhouses, but uh, you can obviously use a smaller um, thing of oregano oil. I would put um, an eighth of a teaspoon of oregano oil in, in something this size. Um, and again, the oregano oil is great for killing uh, fungus. It can also be a bacteria side, and it smells amazing, as you can imagine. It, it smells like Italian dinner, right? But again, you guys, this is just <clears throat> a great way of killing scale. And don't freak out. Eventually, you are going to get scale. It is just, it's part of raising tropical plants. Anytime you get a new plant into your collection, you always isolate it. Uh, I do uh, three, four weeks just to see if you have any critters that came along with it. And um, if so, you know, you treat them appropriately. It's, it's just part of the process. But anyway, thank you for watching Plant Madness. Don't forget to go to our Etsy store. We do uh, occasional uploads. We have a brand new website, uh, plantmadness.com. Should be launching here before Christmas. And what else do I have to say? I guess that's it. Happy planting and happy growing, right? All right.